Top Democrats still trying to process Vice President Harris' stunning loss. The former Speaker Nancy Pelosi placing the blame on President Biden and his late exit from the race. Pelosi telling the New York Times, quote, had the president gotten out sooner, there may have been other candidates in the race. The anticipation was that if the president were to step aside, that there would be an open primary. Our next guest has recently been vocal about missteps made in the Harris campaign. It's DNC Woman's Chair and Harris surrogate Lindy Lee joining us now. Lindy, we appreciate you being here. This is sort of an after um, an after analysis here of what happened with the campaign. But first, talk to me about what's going on. You see here Nancy Pelosi making the case to sort of blame Joe Biden, but it's a backhanded compliment because she's blaming Joe Biden for allowing Kamala Harris to be the nominee. Right. Well, thank you so much for having me. And what's left unsaid is that she is not forcefully saying that Harris would have been the strongest candidate after a vigorous process. She's not saying definitively that it would have been her. She says it might have been her, but, you know, maybe there was an alternative. Maybe it was Josh Shapiro or maybe uh, Gretchen Whitmer, someone who can forcefully litigate the case against Donald Trump. And if you truly believe that Trump is an existential threat, and that's what Democrats have been saying for the past couple of years, then you should have had that process instead of just coronating somebody. What, um, what is the relationship, what has been the relationship throughout the campaign, and what do you think the relationship is today between Biden world and Kamala Harris world? Well, I have friends, I mean, in both worlds, and let me tell you, the relationship was, was terrible even before the campaign. There was backstabbing. They wanted to hand her the most, you know, least favorable agenda, it, it, you know, the legislative priorities. She was stuck with immigration, civil rights, like none of that. Before went she was even a candidate, exactly. you're saying, and as vice president. There was a lot of backstabbing we saw in the press. People were leaking stuff all the time. The White House was leaking like a sieve when it came to Kamala Harris. And finally, in the final year, she was able to stabilize and stop the bleeding of her staff because there was a lot of turnover as well and we saw the press reports about that and things have finally started to calm down and I actually think President Biden um, you know the whole uh, endorsing her 30 minutes after he dropped out I think that was a big F you to the party you know you don't want me here's somebody that you may may not like but deal with it you know suggesting that he's sticking the party with Kamala kind of like sticking it to the man yeah but you, okay help me understand your perspective on that because you worked for Kamala Harris I didn't I'm a donor you're a donor. Uh, technically I mean you know I, I'm not on anyone's payroll I'm not beholden to anyone that's why I'm here telling the truth I'm not here to gaslight anybody this is just the truth um, and what is the truth the truth is the uh, this is just an epic disaster. This is a one billion, a one billion dollar disaster. Um, actually, it was one billion eighteen million. I think right there are twenty million or twenty million or eighteen Missing. million dollars in in debt. Right. It's incredible, and I raised millions of that. I have friends that I have to be accountable to and to explain what happened because I told them it was a margin of error race. I was promised, Jen O'Malley Dillon promised all of us that Harris would win. She even put videos out saying that Harris would win. I believed her. My donors believed her. And so they wrote massive checks. Um, I just, I feel like a lot of us were misled. And even on the night of election night, Will, I looked somebody in the eye and I said, are we going to do this? Are we going to pull it off? She told me yes. And I asked somebody else, like, how are you feeling? He's like, we're going to win Iowa. And I was like, what? Do you think, did they believe this going in? Was, was there a real sense of false confidence on the side of Kamala Harris? Or did they know they were in, in store for disaster? You know, I was wondering about that. I was like, are you, I asked them, are you privy to internal numbers that I am not seeing? Because I study this so carefully and I just wasn't seeing any basis for that level of confidence. And uh, I also want to remind our viewers that, you know, the Trump campaign was touting all of these incredible empirical data weeks before election night. What Harris is touting was the door knocking. She didn't say anything really about early voting. And now I know it's because there was nothing much to say. I asked you what the relationship was between Biden world and Kamala Harris world, and you told me it was bad. It was bad predating the campaign. Where does Obama world fit in this? It, you know, there, there's, I don't want, I don't want to break the Democratic Party into these, you know, three fiefdoms because there's probably more. Nancy Pelosi is a huge power player, but Barack Obama, the Obama world is a huge player. How do they fit? in the tension or the happiness of Democrats? That's a really good question. I want to point out that they waited three days. Michelle and Barack Obama waited three days to endorse Kamala Harris. It was a silence heard around the world. And um, prior to Biden's endorsement that no one really anticipated, they were vetting people like Mark Kelly. Kamala Harris wasn't at the top of the ticket. 
So Biden's endorsement of Harris caught a lot of people off guard, even the chieftains of the party. I, I really think it was a big, it was a big <laughs> F you to everybody. I'm so sorry. It's all right. I think, I, I think I'm getting a vivid picture. I didn't of finish painting, the word. <laughs> uh, specifically when it comes to why or the effect and perhaps the plan on when Joe Biden endorsed Kamala Harris. Really interesting insight, Lindy. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you morning. so much for having me. Lindy Lee. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.